Hey guys, welcome to more Final Fantasy 7 2012, and uh, we're running back to check on Cloud because it's been a while since we've been there, and we got two of the huge materials already, and we're actually still in control of uh, Sid here, which is kind of weird, and I don't know why, but I thought this was a frog on the ground here. It was kind of weird. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, run up here and check on Senor Cloud. Cloud! Oh, I'll talk to these guys first, I guess. I'm sorry, but your friend's condition remains unchanged. You have to be patient and wait this out. These things take time, just like fine wine. Time is in the essence. She's finally beginning to look a little tired. I can't do a woman's voice. I can't. <laughs> I hope she's alright. No change in his condition, yet she stays right by his side. It must be tough for her. If she keeps this up, she's going to, be, to get sick. Well, anyhow. Hey, you all look terrible. Why don't you get some rest? Woo, free rest. Uh, I don't know why uh, I, I always try and do like a really high-pitched voice for girls because technically they don't, uh, they don't actually all have high-pitched voices, but yeah, I don't know. Differentiation, I guess. Okay, perfect. Well then, take care. Tifa? It's no use. I don't understand a thing, Cloud. What should I do? What if you never recover for the rest of your life? Ooh. Yeah. Just let him, like, hop out and be all perfectly fine. Coming. They're coming. What did you say, Cloud? Ugh. Damn, what the hell's going on? Well, I guess we should go outside, Mr. Standing and, uh, protective. I'm gonna fight somebody. Err. <laughs> Let's go outside. Oh, snap. What's this? The life stream's gushing up from below the surface of the earth. Damn, that's... This is bad. Sid, what's wrong? N nothing. You and Cloud get inside quick. But I... Hey, don't you worry about a thing. I ain't about to die that easily. Be careful. Okay, here I go. Watch this. Oh, snap. Damn, that's a weapon. Well, the time to show up. Okay, then. Come on, you. Trying to figure out what the swear words are. I thought they were just too, like, fucked, but I don't know. Ooh, I get the fight weapon. And I see this turning out very badly. Um... Sense. Uh, steal. Steal while you can. Holy crap. Uh, uh, beta. Couldn't sense. I don't know if I'm supposed to win this, because I don't think there's any way I can. Couldn't steal anything. <gasps> that means that he has something, though. Steal it. Just for that, but I guess I'll throw out a phoenix? Yeah, it's a new one. Ow. Oh. Jump on him. Dead. Twenty four hundred. That wasn't bad. How is she alive? What the crap is going on? Oh, now we're all dead. Game over. Is it actually a game over? What? I'm supposed to win? How am I supposed to win against that? What? Uh. All right, I guess here we uh. Here's three, everybody. Uh, magic. Slow him. She's dead. Why is she dead? God dang it! Ferret, just summon. Phoenix again, because I think that brought her back to life. And then, uh, you regen everybody. Jesus, she's down again. This is not going to be good. They can't stay alive through that. 
I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. I don't want to have to grind all that back up. Whoa. Are you leaving? Really? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Yay. That was... You better not come back. Just go. Go away. Go, go away. You're you trying to escape. We didn't do any damage to it. I swear, next time, that guy's dead meat. You couldn't even stay left through one of his attacks. Looks like the live stream settled down now, too. Damn, you gotta be kidding. The, the, this is bad. The mainstream is kicking up. Something way bigger than that last one is on its way. No good, we gotta get out of here. Motif and Cloud. God damn it. Didn't have time to worry about anyone other than yourself. Don't know what when that stream will blow. Whoa. There's no time. Hurry. Tifa, Cloud, get out of here. Oh god, the tremors are getting worse. Wait a minute, Cloud. Doctor, shouldn't we move him somewhere? It might be safer to move to an open area. Don't you worry about a thing, Cloud. I'll see to it that you get somewhere safe. No, the structure can't take it. Hurry. Yes. Get a high pitch voice again. <laughs> Ready, Cloud? We're leaving now. Look at her face. Where am I? What's happening? I... Where's Cloud? Cloud, where are you? Huh? What? Who? Who is it? I can't hear. How'd you know somebody was there, Lan? Wait a minute. I know nothing about that. No, it's not me. I never do anything like that. Do what? No, stop it. T stay back. Somebody help, please. Clouda, help me. Yeah. Clouds here. Where am I? Cloud? What is it, Cloud? What is this? Is this the inside of your dreams, or is it your subconscious? You're searching, aren't you, Cloud? Searching for yourself. I can help, too. We'll work together to try and get the real you back. But where do we start? Hello. That starry night at the well. The promise we made then. What if that memory was a lie? A lie? It's not. I don't know. It might be. A sealed up secret wish? Tender feelings that no one can ever know? 
The gates of Nibelheim, five years ago, Sephiroth passed through these gates, and that's how it all started. It connects to Nibelheim? That's right, it's probably best to start from there. Let's go have a look, Cloud. I know it's not easy. I'll be there for you. Oh, snap! Cloud, look! Here's the well. And that's Gramps Inn, too. The only truck in town. It's been here since we were little kids, right? This is the Nibelheim you remember, right? It's the same as my Nibelheim. That's why this is our Nibelheim. Five years ago, two men from Soldier came. Sephiroth and a young and vibrant soldier. Can you tell me again what happened? How does it feel? Five years ago, I saw the real Sephiroth for the very first time. It's your first time back to your hometown in a long time, right? So how does it feel? I wouldn't know because I don't have a hometown. Hmm. How about your parents? So this is the great Sephiroth. My mother is Genova. She died right after she gave birth to me, my father. But to tell the truth, I thought he was very cold. What does it matter? Alright, let's go. I remember a forebode a foreboding about him. Like forbait. You're not allowed to talk to him. <laughs> No cloud. I've been hiding it for some time. I'm afraid that if I told you something terrible might happen. But I'm not going to hide anything anymore. You weren't here, Cloud. Did not come Cloud did not come to Nibelheim five years ago. I waited, but Cloud never came. The two that were ordered here were Sephiroth and another person. All right, let's go. You mean that soul member of Soldier who came with Sephiroth wasn't Cloud? There's nothing I can say. You must find the answer yourself. If you can't, then take your time, Cloud. Slowly, little by little, okay? Okay, do we talk to one of these guys? The starry night at the well, and I promise, what if the memory is just a lie? Don't hurry, Cloud. Don't answer too quickly. Just keep checking all those small emotions, and it'll come back slowly, little by little. Right? Like that sky that night. The heavens were filled with stars. From the beginning, okay? Try and remember, Cloud. I was wearing these clothes. That's you, too. You were so small then. And cute. Sephiroth once said, Cloud made up his memories by listening to my stories. Did you imagine this guy? No, you remembered it. That night the stars were gorgeous. It was just Cloud and I. We talked at the well. That's why I kept thinking you were the real Cloud. I still believe you're the Cloud from Nibelheim. 
but you don't believe in yourself. These memories aren't enough. Cloud, what about your other memories? No, not memories. A memory is something that is consciously recalled, right? That's why sometimes it can be mistaken or wrong. It's different from a memory locked deep within your heart. That's why it must be fake. If he could recall up that memory. That's it. What about some memory that has to do, that has to do with me? If I say something, you can't remember it. But if you say something and I remember it too, then we'll know that's a memory. Talk to me about anything. Some important memory to you. Now that you mention it, why did you want to join Soldier in the first place? I always thought it was a sudden decision. I was devastated. I wanted to be noticed. I was devastated. I wanted to be noticed. I thought if I was stronger, someone would notice. Someone to notice you. Who? Who? You know who. You. That's who. You. Why me? Tifa, did you forget about those days? Look, I... I said Tifa. Wow. Ooh, trying to read these and it's like, huh? I'm sorry, but what are you talking about? No, it's all right. You were having a hard time back then. You were so busy with your own things. It's only natural if you don't remember me then. Then. It's important to me. I hate to say it, but it's a very important memory. Do you want to see it? Come on, hurry. Let's go talk to him. A, secret, a sealed up secret wish. Tender memories no one can ever know. Uh oh. Do you know where this window goes, Tifa? Fine, I'll go. My room? It was my first time there. Was it? I only used to look up at it from outside. Hey, look! Cloud's coming. You think he wants to come in? I don't know if that's her saying that or him. I can't tell. Was it the first day you came into my room? That's right. We live next to each other. But I really didn't know you that well. I've known you since we were children. I always thought we were close. Now you mention it, I don't recall you ever being in my room. Tifa always used to have her own group. That's right. I thought they were all stupid. What? You were all childish, laughing at every little stupid thing. But we were children then. I know. I was the stupid one. I really wanted to play with everyone, but never you never let me in the group. Then later, I started thinking I was different. That I was different from those immature kids. That, then, maybe... Just maybe, they would invite me in. I thought that might happen, so I hung around. I was so prejudiced and weak. That night, I asked Tifa to come up to the well. I thought to myself, Tifa would never come. That she hated me. It was so sudden, I was a bit surprised. But... It's true, we weren't that close, but... After you left town, I really thought about you a lot. I used to wonder how Cloud was doing. I wondered if you were able to get into Soldier. I started reading the newspapers, thinking I might see an article about you. Thanks, Tifa. 
tell him that you told me later. He'll probably be so happy. Okay. Huh? What happened on this day? Was it a special day? This was the day. Tiva's mother. The day mom died. I want to see mom. I wonder if there's anything beyond that mountain. Mount Nebel is scary. Many people have died there. No one crosses that mountain alive. How about those that died? Did Mama pass through those through the mountain? I'm going. No one gets past this with a mountain alive, and then three of them go. Good job. Uh oh. Rats just leaving her. Jeez. <laughs> I don't remember the path I walked. Tifa missed her step. I ran to her, but didn't make it in time. We both fell off the cliff. Back then, I only scarred my knees, but... Cloud, why'd you bring Tifa to, this, to a place like this? What the hell's the matter with you? What if she dies? Tifa was in a coma for seven days. We all thought she wouldn't make it. If only I could have saved her. I was so angry at myself for my weakness. Ever since then, I felt Tifa blamed me. I went out of control. I'd get into fights with anyone. That was the first time I heard about Sephiroth. That if I was strong like Sephiroth, then. If I could just get stronger, then even Tifa would have to notice me. So, that was it. Sorry, Cloud. If I had only remembered more clearly what happened, I could have done something sooner. It's not your fault, Tifa. But I remember back when we were eight. That's it. Now I know. You weren't created five years ago. My childhood memories weren't all made up. Hang in there, Cloud. Just a little longer. You almost found the real you. Let's go back to Nibelheim again. Why can I walk through that guy? Okay, I guess we'll go back here again. Truth is right there. We almost have the answer right in the palm of our hands. Let's go to Nibelheim again, I guess. Cloud, wait. Where are you going? The reactor? To the reactor, the maker reactor, five years ago. Please instantly teleport me there. Don't make me watch him go through the mountain. <laughs> hey, it's Cloud. Zack. 
Zack. You remembered. That's right, it was Zack who came to Nibelheim with Sephiroth. Then, where were you, Cloud? Cloud, did you see it? See it all? I saw everything. Who are you? Mom, Tifa, my town, give it back. I had so much respect for you. I admired you. Watching me. Yeah, I remember. Hmm. So it was you. Hey, Cloud. If you're feeling sick, why don't you just. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is me. Never made it as a member of Soldier. I even left my hometown telling everyone I was going to join, but I was so embarrassed I didn't want anybody to see anybody. time in your hometown in a long time, right? I'm... You came. You kept your promise. So you really did come when I was in trouble. Sorry, I didn't get there sooner. It's alright, Cloud. Just like you. Killed Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Don't push it. Goodbye, Tifa. Until we meet again.
cloud. Tifa? Oh, Cloud, it's really you, isn't it? Yeah, Tifa. We finally meet again. You stupid jerk, you had us all worried sick. Cloud, are you alright? Voice, there. I see. We're in the live stream, aren't we? Everyone's waiting. Let's go back, Cloud. Back to everyone. Yeah, I guess so. Come on, Tifa. Let's go home. Reloading! This is a very long episode, and I'm sorry, guys, but I couldn't just take it in me to cut that part in half, and it's just it just doesn't work if you cut it in half. I mean, I probably could have cut it there at the last part, but no, it's going to be a longer episode, and I'm sorry about that if it's against your wants. Yo, you all right, Tifa? Uh... uh. Barrett, you came back. I... Cloud, where is he? Don't worry about him. He's a tough one. Barrett, I... When I was in the live stream, I saw the real Cloud. I mean, I didn't really find him. Cloud, he found himself. All right, I know. I shouldn't have doubted. But I can't win against you. You're some kind of lady. People have so many things pent up inside themselves. Themselves. <laughs> so many things they can never forget. Strange, isn't it? Yo, Tifa, snap out of it. Tifa? Everyone, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Cloud. All you've been doing is apologizing. I never was in Soldier. I made up the story about what happened five years ago and my being in Soldier. I left my village looking for glory, but never made it into Soldier. I was so ashamed of being so weak. Then I heard the story from my friend Zack. And it created an illusion of myself. Made up of what I had seen in my life. And I continued to play the charade as if it were true. Illusion, huh? Pretty damn strong for an illusion. Physically, but I'm built like someone in Soldier. Hoja's plan to clone Sephiroth wasn't that difficult. It was just the same procedure they used to creating members of Soldier. You see, someone in Soldier isn't simply exposed to Mako energy. Their bodies are actually injected with Genova cells. For better or worse, only the strong can enter Soldier. It has nothing to do with the Genova reunion. But weak people like me get lost in the whole thing. The combination of Genova cells, Sephiroth's strong will, and my own weakness are what created me. Everyone knew that I'm Cloud. The master of my own illusionary world. But I can't remain trapped in illusion anymore. I'm going to live my life without pretending. You're sure messed up, Cloud. That means he ain't no different from before. By the way, Cloud, what are you going to do now? Don't tell me you're going to leave the ship. I'm the reason why Meteor is falling towards us. That's why I have to do everything in my power to fight this thing. Good. Then you're going to keep fighting to save the planet. It's like you always told me, Bear. Told me. Bear. What? What? Oh, uh. You mean that? What? I don't understand. There ain't no getting off this train. All right, so we got the whole story of Cloud now, and we have control of him again. And he probably has nothing. Yeah, he's got nothing. So, all right, looks like we're gonna end this episode off 30 some minutes in, and sorry about that, but uh, we learned the whole Cloud story and found out about this person, Zach. And yeah, so uh, I'm gonna save off here. And yes, I know. Just let me save. Ah. Alright, never mind. I guess I won't say you. It's just going to be a very long wait. Anywho, uh, I'm going to start off here staring at this big old table. So, till next time, guys. TLG out. <laughs>